Welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. This is uh, my fifth review, and today we're going to be looking at Spring Bag 10 Year Old, which is bottled at 46% ABV and it is non chill filtered. Uh, there's no artificial colourings added, so it's pretty much just all whiskey, straight out of the barrel almost. So, in a nice little box here, uh, I do like the, the rebranding of the box. Pretty simple, not much on it, uh, just telling you. The age, uh, where it's from, Campbelltown, and obviously the name of it. There's a little bit of writing on the back of the bottle, just telling you a little bit about the distillery. It doesn't go into too much detail, but it just says uh, a lot, little bit about how the distillery is pretty much everything they do there, 100% of what they do there is all done in house. Uh, so their the, the barley growing, their the bottling, everything's done um, in, in the location of the distillery. Whereas a lot of other places, a lot of other distilleries, they'll maybe outsource their barley or they'll, they'll get someone else to bottle the, do the bottling. Uh, whereas with Spring Bank, it's only the distillery that does this, 100% of everything's done in house. It's also one of the oldest independent family owned distilleries, or I think it is the oldest independent family owned distilleries. Uh, so it's got a lot going for it. Um, I believe the Spring Bank range, they, uh, they say it's two and a half times distilled. And a lot of people argue that this is where the uniqueness for Springbank comes. They, they also do two other whiskies uh, within the distillery. They do Long Row and Hazel Burn. Uh, I don't have any Hazel Burn, but I do have two Long Rows. Um, and I will be getting round to them as well as another Springbank. Uh, so it's quite a unique distillery in the sense of how they, how they run things, the history behind it to do, do with the, the family owned. Um, and also the fact that they do three different whiskies in one distillery, which is pretty unique. Uh, so we'll get down to the whiskey. It's quite a nice light colour there, nice, nice light yellowy amber there. It's also, I believe, that they, they lightly peat their whiskies, and not, not too peated. Uh, they leave that for the long row, so the, the, the long row was created within mind of trying to make a peated whiskey. But yeah, this isn't too peated. Yeah. Nice smells there. Straight away I'm getting a little bit of peat. Like I said, it's, it's not overly strong. Um, I'm also getting tree bark, vanilla pods. Um, there's like a, a vanilla essence there. But yeah, I'd say vanilla pods, tree bark and peat are uh, all that I'm really picking up on this one. It's a nice whiskey. It's not too expensive either. On the uh, palette there, I'm getting a lot of cereal notes, quite sweet cereal notes. Special K, the cereal comes to mind. That's what I can imagine there. There are a kind of barley taste, slight vanilla, there's a slight vanilla there. And also a little nuttiness in the, uh, the palette there as well. On the, on the finish, I wouldn't be able to say I'd pin the, the, the nuttiness on the palate, but on the finish I'd say it's um, maybe nutmeg there um, on, on the finish. It's quite a smooth finish, a little bit of pep, a little peppery, but yeah, it's quite a smooth finish. It goes down really nice. For, 40, for 46%, there, there, there's a varied amount of flavours in there. I, I wouldn't say it's overly complex. The, the flavours are quite strong. Um, but I wouldn't say there's, a, there's an array of flavours there. The, the three that come to mind are definitely um, cereal, the nuttiness, and also a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, overall, a great whiskey, another great whiskey. The, the cereal notes there, yeah, the special K as I say, is very, very pungent, very Very tasty. Yeah, overall a great whiskey. Uh, I'd say an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to try the Springbank 15 year old somewhere down the line as well. Uh, as well as their, their standard long row and the long row 18 year old. Uh, and we'll see how they kind of they, they tally up. So I'll do the Springbank 15 at some point. And I'll just need to keep in mind that I gave the 10 year old an 8 out of 10. And we'll see how the, uh, the 15 year old fares. Other than that, that's, that's all I've really got on this one. Uh, it's a good whiskey, a reasonable price, and I'm, I'm glad I've got it in my collection. So thanks for watching, 
I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Whims, and I'll see you later.